Greetings, friend, entrepreneur, and fellow business builder. I'm marketing master Jim Ackerman, and this is your 30-second marketer tip of the day. You know, after you consider the basics, you might want to delve in a little bit deeper as you begin to think like a customer. For example, what is it safe to assume that your customers already know about your industry products or services before they even walk in the door? And when I say walk in the door, I mean either physically or figuratively through the internet or some other means. Next question, what do you think they know about your business that they probably really don't? In other words, what are you assuming they already know when they walk in the door when in reality they probably don't know? And then what do they most certainly not know about your industry, products, or services that you absolutely must be careful to explain if you're going to get to yes and get them to buy? Once you've taken those things into consideration, the next question is, what are the excuses, rationalizations, justifications that your prospects will give themselves to secure your products and services? In other words, what are they going to tell themselves that will get them to go ahead and buy? And perhaps most importantly, what are the excuses, rationalizations, and justifications they will give you and themselves to avoid making the purchase even if they know they should. If you can answer those questions, you can craft your marketing, sales, and advertising presentations with much greater odds of getting to yes. Would you like to know more about how to think like a customer? Then I recommend that you secure a copy of my Think Like a Customer Matrix. It's easy. All you've got to do is click in the link at the doobly-doo below, and I will send it to you for free. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, Tell your friends all about us, and that is your 30-second marketer tip of the day.